<laughs> they hit the ball. They don't want to walk. They hit and hit and hit and then hit again. And then hit again and then hit again. You brought your back. Stand right over here. So, hey, Drew, pay attention. All you Thunder Kids, loser type individuals, pay attention. You've got to practice simply loading. Tony Botello is the best. I'm going to put his video up there. He does the burp. He stands in the batter's box like this, doing this. Once the pitcher gets to a certain point, he does this. When the ball gets pitched, he does this. Even if he takes the pitch. Justin McCoy, dude, I'm sorry to call you out, but this is Justin McCoy. It's almost you. You're a little bit better. So you guys as pitchers, as batters, the difference in the Eagle team is those guys hit every ball. They, did, they said they're in here going, if I can hit it, I want three bases. You guys are just happy to get walked and get one base. So you have to practice it. So show me how you load. Takes 1,000 reps. Practice loading. Good. Now watch your dad. Your dad's the pitcher. He's not going to pitch. He's just going to simulate pitching. You got to simulate loading. Good. Exactly. You got to do whatever your thing is. Now here's the funny thing: is your pitching stance and your hitting stance are the same. Think about when you pitch. You come from here up into your hitting stance. You kick. Up. Hitting and pitching are the same stinking thing. You have to have a routine and do the same thing over and over and over. Let me see you practice loading. Load. All right. Now load with less head. Don't dive your head into the load. Good. And let your hands flow with it. Good. Exactly. Exactly. Now load and swing. Load, load, and swing. Good. Do it again. Load and swing 50 times. That's two times. That's three times. Load and swing. Load and swing. Good. And when you swing, exit speed. What I mean by that, the bat comes into this area at this speed. That speed's important. What's more important? The exit speed, the speed that the bat comes out of this area. Because your guys' bats haul ass to here, and then they slow down coming out. So then you hit this little bloop, dying quail to the second baseman, instead of crushing through. You got 45 more. And swing on through. Good. And swing. Now the trick is going to be to rewire your mindset when you get in the batter's box. When you get in the batter's box, your habit is going to be no load. And that's what you're going to do. Got a load. Fantastic. If you did this 50 times a day, every day, between now and the day we leave to go to Cooperstown, you're going to be, just think how much better you'll be with me. If you only wait and do this during the time when it's just us, it's going to take a lot longer. A whole lot longer. You with me? If you did 100 a day, then you'd be done in 10 days. Now you should be probably going to break and do 50 more. Yeah, take a couple you seconds knock it off. Out. Yeah. 50 and then the next squat. time, if you do it a thousand times in like a week, the next time you got up to bat on Saturday, Crush the ball. Muscle When's your next game? 